read them? Read the first page. I don't want to. back from Barnes and Noble today for the first time my niece tiny was the first one who came up to me and she said can you take me to Barnes and Noble because I kind of like reading now and I was like girl I will buy you a book myself so that's what we did she definitely takes after her aunt aka me because this girl took forever to pick out a book <laughs> I swear we did like two laps around the kids section and then she picked a book and then she needed to look a little longer to make sure that was the book she wanted. And then as we're leaving the kids section, she's like, now the only thing I need is something when I'm reading in the middle of my book and I don't finish it, that's what I need. And I was like, girl, a bookmark? Clearly I've been a really good influence on her. But we decided we wanted to share what we got today. We each got one book and a bookmark. The book that I picked out is When Night Breaks by Janella Angelis, and this is actually the sequel to Where Dreams Descend. I don't know what the duology is called, but this is the sequel. It just released a few weeks ago. For some reason, I was under the impression that this book was releasing in November. It might have released early, I don't know. I actually was a little torn between whether to get when night breaks or kingdom of the curse because they're both books that i was interested in but i figured i already have the first one of this one so i might as well go ahead and finish my duology because otherwise i'm not gonna get it now and then i'm going to miss out on it like with kingdom of the wicked and i'm so excited if you haven't checked this series out i highly highly recommend it it's really good really atmospheric and just like a seductive feeling to it and I mean guys this cover is everything mom. mom I got this very unique very very me bookmark it says she believed she could but she was really tired so she didn't and that is just my life motto you know there's a lot of things I want to do but your girl be really really tired and she just doesn't get around to it so I thought this was perfect I got Judy B. Jones. I have it at school. I really liked it because I finished a book. And now I'm reading another one at school and now I really like these type of books. Yep. So she got Junie B. Jones, Dumb Bunny. I feel like Junie B. Jones was a staple for a lot of people. Like that was their first chapter book. I will admit, I have never read a Junie B. Jones book. It was never, I think it's the covers, like they just never appealed to me. I was more of a magic treehouse kind of gal, but that's what she wanted. And you know, I am here for it. If she wants to read, I could read it to you. She wants to read it to me. I'll let her do it as long as she's reading. Yeah. I love llama. Oh, doesn't that come up? Jesus. I don't think it's on an alpaca. Yeah. 
So she's really into alpacas right now, but the best Barnes and Noble had were llamas. So she got these magnetic little book. TikTok's fault. TikTok's fault. Oh, TikTok's fault. Later, we're going to walk around town with my dog. So Holly, Holly my dog Holly. Um, and yeah. The so the beanie boo. The, the beanie boo. Holly the beanie boo. If you know what beanie boos are, let me know down in the comments. Is the tiny child in your life also obsessed with Beanie Boos like this teeny tiny child is? You Don't are. Judge me. No one's judging. Who's judging you? I collect books. I'm not judging you. You got a shelf full of Beanie Boos. I got a shelf full of books. So I hope you enjoy this. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since she's been in a video. I'll link up in the cards some of the old videos that she's been in. She was definitely more of a toddler then, and now she's like five or something but she's a full-on child now I'm seven. she's seven years old now so she wanted to be part of another video and i said why not <laughs>